So, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you for the first drive that I've ever done in my 720 odd brake horsepower stage two Audi RS6. Engine start. Let's uh, switch to engine start scene. Yeah. Sounds so good. Uh, there's lots of doo -doo, lots of noises. Uh, it's true as service. I'll be getting that done and probably filming that. So that's the first thing you're going to want to know. As you start the engine, um, this screen sort of pops up in the middle of the dash. I like that. Um, it doesn't look too out of place as well. I felt like in the A3s and the RS3s and stuff, it just seems to be sort of a bit in the way, but that's a personal thing. You have got the option if you want to press it and close it down and get it out of the way. But I think I'll, because it's the first time I've ever driven this car, I want to see what I'm doing. Um, we'll just go, we'll just drive, yeah? Let's go. Hmm, see because this is genuinely my first drive, like this is not no like YouTube dramatic sort of. This is my first drive, but I've actually already driven it 500 miles before I do my first drive. Um, I actually don't have a clue about what to, um, what buttons to press the car. Because first thing I am going to tell you is this car has the dynamic pack. It's an extremely well specced car, yeah? And, oh by the way, let me just show you lot something. I won't go through all the spec at the minute, but there's an app. If I um, just show you, uh, this is a free app as well. I noticed it last night when I was on my sort of doing my sort of like buying my car journey. Um, there's an app called My Audi, I think it's called. Yeah, My Audi. If you own an Audi, it's an Audi's own app. It's free to sign up to it. And on the app, it tells you a lot about your car, a lot of stuff that you probably don't already know. So, if, especially if you're going to buy a car, all you need is the VIN number for the car. And um, yeah, it's a really handy app. And, I discovered a lot about this car last night that I didn't actually already know. And I knew it was, had a high level of spec, but the dynamic pack on these cars is a huge thing. And that is one of the specs that um, I knew it had it, but I sort of discovered a lot more about it through that app, all right? So yeah, dynamic mode. So you press the car button, it's in dynamic mode. I think I'm just gonna have it in dynamic mode because that's kind of like the, the Larry mode, the mode that makes the most amount of noise. Uh, but it's something to do steering, suspension, exhaust. There's a lot involved with that dynamic pack. Um, this is a, a non-res catback exhaust by Miltech. So it is all, from stock they're a crazy stout sounding car. They sound like bloody, they sound mental, um, but this car does sound a li little bit louder than your average one, all right? So um, yeah, we're in drive. Let's just get moving, yeah? Because I need to get home. I'm hungry. I've not actually eaten today. It's half past one. I didn't have breakfast. I didn't have lunch because I thought I just want to pick up my new car. And um, yeah, I now want to film videos. So let's go. Set all the sat nav and stuff up now. Um, I've got it in dynamic mode. It's a valved exhaust as well, by the way. So, the boy sails straight away, it makes so much noise. I, I haven't really touched the throttle yet, and it's just so, so noisy. If I undo the back windows. Oh my god! Four 
wheels spinning there, no problem. Did you see that? Oh my God, I did not expect that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what to say. It's a savage car. Savage car. Um, so, what should we talk about? There's so much to talk about. I keep thinking of things. I need to get. I need to get this in the video. I need to get that in the video. I keep thinking of stuff. Um, if you didn't see the first video, by the way, the collection video, you can do that by um, clicking. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a, if I can put a thing up there, I will as well. Um, go and check that out. All right. And um, so I have just collected this car. And this is literally like say my first time driving it. But um, it's MRC tuned, 726 bhp. I've got a dyno as well. Um, but I do plan on maybe doing a bit more to it. I don't know yet. I'm not going to give too much away. I, I haven't got no rigid plans. Um, but my reasons for buying it, as I mentioned in a previous video, were it's got wide arches. It's got a V8 bi-turbo engine. It's got... Um, an eight-speed ZF gearbox, which is stronger than the, the, the dual clutch gearboxes in some other cars, uh, so it can manage this level of power, no problem at all. And uh, it's four-wheel drive, so it will it's meant, meant to put the power down, although it didn't, didn't just then. Um, size, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two um, ish. I don't know exactly what I am. Maybe a bit more than that, but um, in a Golf R, it's a bit. I'm a bit cramped. I wouldn't say cramped, but they're. They're not a massive car, let's face it. Audi RS3s are very cramped. I looked at Saloon RS3s because they apparently offer a bit more leg room in the back. So if I've got someone behind me, they can possibly sit behind me. In this car, um, I've got leg room. Like literally, someone can sit behind me, which is, is, is a great thing for me. I've got a huge family. I've only got one kid, but brothers and sisters and stuff like that. I've got um, a, a big family, yeah? So, for me, it's my own daily car. It offers me a lot, as well as a lot for YouTube. RS3s are a single turbo as well, and to go beyond 600 bhp, I'm told this takes a lot of work, yeah? Although they're capable, it does take a lot of work. And a, a friend of mine actually recently blew up his RS3 um, from pushing it beyond that limit, beyond the 600 bhp, and um, that kind of put a, a nail in it for me. I thought, you know what? I don't want a car that's gonna blow up. Although I make great YouTube content, um, I don't really want a car that's gonna blow up. This is obviously a, a twin turbo car, yeah? Another thing, going back to the single turbo, twin turbo dilemma. Single turbo, cars will generally lag a little bit you can get a map to suit um, to, to, to get better response out of them but you're always faced with dealing with getting the most out of one turbo right if you go bigger with the turbos and I talk about this a lot you these crackles are unreal it sounds <laughs> if you go bigger with the turbos obviously you sacrifice turbo lag but you get higher um, top end power yeah with a twin turbo car, it kind of irons all of that out. So, and this is the thing I love with my GTR. My GTR used to just deliver power like nothing else. And this is seemingly the same. I don't even know where, oh, there we go, we're in third gear. It just, see even then I can feel it's kind of skipping, trying to, trying to lose traction. It really does just instantly put the power down. So, um, this is a mental car, you know, it's 700 odd brake horsepower. It is, as you expect, a stupidly quick car. <laughs> so, um, yeah, ticks a lot, of, a lot of boxes. One of the questions that uh, you're gonna have is what are, what are my plans with, with it, yeah? What do I plan to do with this car? Have I got any plans? Am I gonna make it faster? Am I gonna change the look of it? Um, I honestly don't know. I think things I've thought about are it's been specced with the with the matte silver pack, which looks really good. And be it when you're faced with it in front of you, it looks even better. 
and um, what I have, but what, but what I have considered is changing it to black because I think the whole black look looks really good. But that will consist of doing the badges, the front grille, the bottom splitter, the rear splitter, um, the roof bars, and the wheels as well. The wheels are obviously uh, a silver or, or a polished finish to match to match um, all the other silver bits, but they'll also need doing. So I've considered going down that route. And then the dilemma is, do you diamond cut the face of the wheels or do you go all black with the wheels? I don't know. Visually as well, I thought maybe wrap it. This is Sepang Blue, which is um, a notorious Audi RS color. Uh, really nice color, don't get me wrong, I, I love it. And, and again, in front of you, it looks so good. But content, you know, I want to change things in this car. I want to change the look of it. If I was to change the look of it, I'd go for a vinyl wrap. I don't know exactly if I'm definitely going to do that, but I've considered doing that as well. Steering wheel, um, I've had a couple of companies message me about doing uh, like an Alcantara steering wheel with different materials on it. I might well do uh, a steering wheel modification and then modif modifying the engine. I've not yet spoke to Will at VRS, but a lot of you know that he's my guy for tuning. He does BMW's, Bentley's, Porsches, but mainly he does Audi's and Volkswagen, yeah? These are his thing, he does a lot to them. He's actually friends with uh, Doug at MRC, so uh, no doubt that they're gonna be familiar with this exact car. So I'll be able to drop this there and potentially push it further with power, but I don't know yet exactly what I'm doing, like I say. But they're all my sort of thought processes with, um, with what to do with it. I think for now, I must admit, <laughs> I am, um, I'm just so happy with it. I'm so happy to finally have sorted out my own car, sorted out like the dilemma of looking at cars, buying a car privately, I don't know, I say privately, I haven't just looked at privately, but buying a used car in general, and bear in mind this is what I do for a living, buying a used car for yourself is hard. It's a hard thing. So much goes through your head, so much, there's so much to consider, and then when you've got the the um, an audience on YouTube that you really want to satisfy as well, there's even more to consider. So um, for me, I feel like I've made the right decision. Um, my plan with my channel, by the way, I think I mentioned this in my previous video, is it ain't going to be solely about this car, yeah? It's going to be a car that I'm going to use daily, again, because I, um, I do a lot of running around, having a, an estate car. It's the only estate car on the road that pulls off being an estate car. They don't actually do a saloon Audi RS6. They only do an Avant, obviously the estate version. Um, so, but being an estate, it's appealing for me. I do pick stuff up, you know, it's, it's quite practical. And there is a lot of times in my life where an estate will definitely come in handy. But, um, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm not sure how much I've banged on in this video. I don't think I've done too much banging on, but I think in a nutshell, I'm already really, really happy with it. I'm loving all this space in here. Uh, for me, that's a really strange thing to experience space. Um, but yeah, look out for future videos. I think my next step is I'm going to speak to Will at VRS and see what can be done with it. Uh, speak to a couple of if anyone's got any ideas and if anyone watching's got any ideas that they can do to this car contact me yeah feel free to contact me calvin at calvinscardiro.com let's um let's tamper with it let's do stuff to it let's show the world what can be done with an audi rs6 that's what i bought this car for so uh yeah i think i'm going to end it there because like i say i'm starving i need to eat uh but first impressions are the exhaust like it's a joke, isn't it? My first impressions are extremely good. I love this car, I love the look of it, I love what it offers, and so far, I'm loving the way it drives. Something else I haven't mentioned is my private number plate. I don't know for sure, I'm either thinking the diary number plate or the arsehole number plate. I think I'm gonna go with the arsehole one, but I'm also gonna be changing the private plate. This plate's gonna be coming off and going up for sale, uh, but I am gonna change the plate as well anytime, sometime soon. In fact, by the time this video goes live, I might have already done it. So, um, yeah. 
I'm going to end it there. I'm going to find the nearest service station because I need food. I need to go to the toilet. I need a bottle of water. But thanks for watching. Again, I'm going to ask you to hit like if you like the video. I hope you like my choice of the car. I hope you like um, the way the channel's going and everything. I'm so grateful with how everything's going. It's, um, it's all good, man. Channel's going really well. Life's good. And I'm loving my new car. So, yeah, do hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. And crackles and I'll see you in the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader right bye in the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader the RS6 ends up on the back of a recovery truck make sure you subscribe to find out why